Hi everybody, just want to talk a little bit about how I like to start every day uh, in terms of my routine and session. It has to do with this guy right here. This is a visualizer. It's on sale at HoutonHorns.com. It's basically a rim on a stick and it's really integral to my daily routine. I don't like to overuse it. I feel like it's a tool that if I use a little bit every day before I start playing horn, um, it puts me sort of in, in a focused state and uh, develops that functionality that I crave before I actually get to the horn. I'll start with the piano most days and uh, there's no reason you can't use a drone. No, not that kind of drone. <laughs> if you've got a piano or a keyboard, I suggest use it. I'll have to apologize, this piano is not the most in tune thing uh, in the history of the world. So I like to start at C3 on the piano, and I'll just take you through what I normally do, and it takes five minutes or less. And again, um, functionality is key here. There's no harsh articulations, it's all slurred, and uh, very much, glissando, um, siren type approach, just to get the functionality of the embouchure and everything sort of happy and buzzing. So we're starting at C3, which is an octave below C4, which is middle C on the piano. We're down here, and that is our low G on horn. So if you can't start that low, that's okay, but start as low as you can and uh, work incrementally up. What I do sounds like this. So as you can hear, I'm using an optional breath attack, and uh, take that as you may. Uh, if it serves you, you know, great, do it. Uh, it's not required. What I think you should be focusing on is just that functionality and connection between intervals. However small you need to go in the beginning in terms of intervals, uh, even a second or a third, just to get that functionality going. <laughs> Or you could try any number of variations, right? Just building on those smaller increments, and of course, we're building out and focused on quality. I would say, if it doesn't serve you, if you feel like stuff's not working right, don't overdo it. So now I'm gonna take you through the whole thing. Feel free to play along with this. Grab your visualizer. If you don't have a visualizer, a mouthpiece works too. And join in at any point that feels comfortable. Here we go.
Also, if I'm in a hurry, sometimes I'll just do octaves. <laughs> So on right so I didn't learn how to do this overnight it took some practice to get used to this thing and I gradually expanded my register don't get frustrated if it doesn't work right off the bat for you there's a little bit of learning curve involved for most people I hope you found this video helpful if you did please like and subscribe happy practicing